What's going on everyone? Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. I got just a really, really lucky draw here as I'm on floor 437 in the Forgotten Ruins, and I've got just the perfect, perfect one amp warrior map. Now what I mean by one amp warrior is using one chaos eight amp on a reflect beam with a 10 out of 10 tenacity. Now you get that one amp to get your tenacity up to chaos eight. That makes it 100% and then you can use your reflect beam to protect the rest of your defenses behind it from cyborgs. Now as you see here, we got uh, we got some borks, geodes, and lady orcs. We got uh, actually no cyborgs there. Wow, that is a rarity. And then we got some more cyborgs down below. So this one just looks like it's going to be a pretty decent run. My only worry here are the Lady Orcs here, the Berserkers. There's eight of them just in Wave 1. And we know this sub-objective is really close, so I do want to keep an eye on this lane. However, let's just go ahead and build out the uh, kind of the usual for me for this 1-amp Warrior build. So we're then going to put the Reflect up around, and it is going to protect everything. And the cyborgs are basically just going to come out here and smash away and not do anything with their special attack. Now I do want to get a flame art in as well, and I believe with those eight lady orcs, I want a little last resort lightning strike art in the back, as those lady orcs are without a doubt going to push through. Let's see. Let's go with uh, let's go with three sky guards right here. We will uh, we'll throw a destructive pylon on them. Eh, probably a little overkill, but let's get a boost R on them as well. And then we'll head on down here and we'll do that one amp warrior build over again. Now down here, the only thing I have to be really concerned about is that Lava Guardian. The Lava Guardian will indeed push through. I'm going to just want to watch the minimap and make sure that the Lava Guardian doesn't make it all the way around and up onto my sub-objectives. Let's throw that flame art in the mix. Do we have a bunch of berserkers? No berserkers here, so I don't really have to worry about any fast movers down there. And then that leaves me just a truckload for down here. Hmm, making me actually wonder if I can do something over here to make up for those, those berserkers. I'll tell you what, let's get a... Let's get a snake down right over here, just for a little something something extra since I have so much extra DU. Now any of those Berserkers that run through are going to be getting snaked the whole time, and hopefully that will take care of things. But let's switch back over and get this middle lane all jacked up. We do have, uh, we got a very nice middle lane here, proximity and phased. So it just seems like it's going to be a complete face roll here. Let's, uh, let's double up on the beams. Let's go ahead and double up on the reflect as well. And then let's go... Something... Like that. I like it. That's pretty spread out for a reflect beam, but it should get the job done here. And then let's get it all sorts of juicy. So let's get a little... Lightning Strike R there. If we go with a Boost R, that only leaves me 60 DU. Or leaves me 40 DU, pardon me. Which would be just one Flame R. And although I do think that that's more than enough to get the job done, I kind of really want to. Let's just go ahead. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. You know, I just straight up want two of them. So I'm going to change all of this stuff around here. Let's go ahead and just go with the reflect right around the front unit there. Uh, we can actually go one more reflect just for just massive, massive overkill right here. And then oh, my reflect didn't go down. Come on, little reflect. You can do it. There we go. And then that leaves me another 80. So there's my two two flame R's that I wanted, and I could even go with another LSA somewhere. I tell you what, we know we've got the Lava Guardian down here. Why don't we throw in a little last resort for that Lava Guardian that could potentially push through, and then use this 100 that's left over 
and get a couple of upgrades on these sky guards. Now I do want to keep an eye on this lane right here. The cyborgs I'm not at all worried about, but eight berserkers is a lot of berserkers to come out of a lane that close. And let's see how they do. Are they going to get handled here? It looks like they're getting handled. Having that additional DPS go into them from that snake is uh, certainly, certainly a winner here, no doubt. And the Lady Orcs are getting uh, getting petrified up and stunned quite nicely. Give a little assist over here to these flyers. This map just looked really too good to be true when I... This is... I just loaded in. No rerolls at all. And uh, I got this little gem. This is just a real rarity for decent lane mutators on a floor that's over, say, 100 or 125. It seems like once you get to that, like, 100 or 425 mark, you just see the exact same things over and over again, and you don't ever get any really, really friendly mutator combos. So it is very nice to see when it happens. Everything's just getting wrecked. I got no headstrong assassins. This one just is feeling like a win already, no doubt about it. So uh, let's go ahead. We'll throw... A round of ups in. We're only going to be stronger now with these ups. Let's see what we have for a boss. We've got a Thork, which is just an easy, easy boss to using this Reflect Beam strategy. So let's just get things a little jacked up down here and just let it run. If Wave 2 goes entirely too smooth here, I will jump on forward to Wave number 5 as to not make you all sit through this. As it's just going well. Like I said, it's just a super rarity when you get the mutators that are that kind. You know, it's just a super, super kind combination. I wasn't really planning on pushing too many floors, but when I logged in, I wanted to get a video recorded tonight. So I figured I'd log in and just check a map, and I got this little gem. Oof. So, so wonderful. Yeah, it looks like we are pretty much easy mode now. I think the only thing I'm going to have to worry about is perhaps a Lava Guardian down here or maybe a big flyer push, but anything else I think is going to be kind of a non-issue. So we'll go ahead and finish this wave out and then we'll jump on forward to wave number five and see how it closes out. Well, here we go. We've got a Lava Guardian coming through right now. Let's see how this works out. Thork I'm not worried about. Thork's just going to chillax up there in front. Drop the assassin off with his homies. Alright, the Lava Guardian actually got wrecked. So, kind of a non-issue there. So yeah, let's go ahead and bounce on forward to wave number 5. And see what kind of just ridiculous monstrosity we can get this upgraded to by the end of this map. So we, here we are in wave number five. The map has just run really smooth. There's been no pushes from flyers at all. It's been kind of easy peasy. And here we are in wave five with only 298 mobs. So nice. So we got shieldy gorbs right there. We've got a Bastille Master there. We've had quite a few Bastille Masters here. That, that Bastille Master is not really going to be an issue. I'm just going to camp her as soon as she rolls out. Now, I did get uh, my snake all beast mode here. We got the reflect beam there, all beast mode. Uh, down below, I did a bunch of upgrades just so I wouldn't have to worry about it. Um, I've got the reflect. I've, well, I thought I went into that flame aura as well. We'll get that squared away. So we got a couple of ups into the reflect, a couple into the flame. We're in pretty good shape there. Uh, I've got all of my sky guards at tier 3, and it's just melting everything, so no issue there. And then now we can go ahead and dump some more here. Let's see, let's get these two outside flame arrows all juicy. And why not hit both of these reflect beams for the maximum will power here. Now the kicker here is I need these reflect beams to go off on that Bastille Master before she throws her bubble. So let's see if we're able, actually able to make that happen. The Bastille Master can be immensely easy or a huge pain in the butt just depending on when she decides to get that bubble cast off. If she casts it late and you can get wound up with a nuke monk, you're just going to one-shot her. So it's kind of a non-issue there. And then, of course, this is my assassin killing area right now anyway. 
So it works out perfect just to kind of chillax right here. Here comes the assassins. There's number one is down. Are we going to get another? Looks like we should get another, really. It's just uh, that Bastille Master should be close. There she comes. So basically, as soon as she pops out, I'm going to give her the Wapow here. Oh, she's stuck. How unfortunate. The stuck Bastille Master is never really fun. Uh, I think that was me. I think I may have wrecked myself from the best. Oh, no, she's coming out now. She was just really slow rolling it. All right. So are the reflect beams going to get it done? It looks like... Oh, one reflect beam got wrecked. Actually, it looks like both of them got wrecked, but the map's over anyway. She did get her shield off right at the end, but she is dead as well. So we get another check mark in the W here on this map. Actually, it only did get one of the reflects. Wow. I guess timing is everything for sure. But anyway, that was floor number 437 in The Forgotten Ruins. So thank you all so much for watching. Remember, it is Friday, so I will be live today over on Twitch starting at 12 noon Pacific time if Chromatic does not stream and starting at 1 p.m. Pacific time if they do. So I plan on going live right at noon. However, if Chromatic streams, of course, I will be over there watching their stream with you all instead. So hopefully I'll see you all today over on the Twitches. Thanks again, everybody. I'll see you next time. Take it easy.